hello welcome back it's been a long time i created a video i was very much busy so let's continue the azure devops series today we'll see that how using the rest apis you can update the test plan test results so the things would remain generic that how you can run the rest apis for azure devops so let's begin this is the ninth video in this series <music> so these are the various uh, projects that we already created let me go to the automation one and show you that some of the test plans which we created earlier or you can just create by uh, clicking on like go here and you can create a test case right that we have checked earlier that how we create various there are two three ways of creating test cases right now we'll try to update it for example this is blocked and what if i want to create it via api these test cases or any of these things uh, i want to operate via automation like i want to update the results in adu or i want to create a test case or i want to create a bug so i'll share the generic things that how you can do it how you can run a rest api for azure devops so firstly we have to understand a concept called as pat that is personal access token so azure devops provides a way uh, like i created a test token so what you do is you click on that and you give that uh, a particular name like what kind of access you want to give like uh, because using this people can do anything so give it carefully right like for example if you are just updating test cases you can give i, I want to give test cases read and write right if somebody wants to access like while creating automation framework if you want to use some code from other repos you can get that access then maven can access those artifacts in your automation framework right for now i'll just give full access right and i'll just uh, delete it after this demo right and so i'll click on create so as soon as you create it now you will see it so you have to copy it somewhere because otherwise uh, this will be lost right it will not be displayed again so you have to copy it otherwise you will have to generate it once again right so i'll click on close and once this page is refreshed you will see that there are two the one which i created just now right so let's see how we can do it i have already created a collection in postman so which i can share with you right so what you have to do is open postman click on this plus button and uh, name it anything for example as your rest apis right uh, because uh, uh, you can club them together right so now if i want to get an information about our test plan like let's say if i go to test plan on this automation right so the things would remain generic that uh, how we can get information via rest api right for example if i want to get the information about this test plan whose plan id is 20 and suit id is 31 right so you can just type on you can just search for for example rest api for azure test plan right docs you can type and you'll get a link for the docs.microsoft.com right where you will get it for example i want to run the get api right so what are the variables in this that is listed over here for example organization plan id project and api version right so what i did is i pasted the same here and when you use this double braces it becomes a variable so that i can use across all these apis right so that i did is like in the variables i have added my organization right my organization which you can see it from here right this is our project and this is our plan id and this is our suit id right so my plan id is 20 now let's see and to run that api what you have to do is like you can you have to select basic auth in this and put your personal access token here right and let me see that whether it's working fine or not right and not to hard code it for example i want to reuse the values so i have uh, made them as variables now you can run this and let's see if it gives the right output or not right i see a 200 okay and let me see that what is the name of the plan it is master test plan right it's giving the details it's giving my id and and let me get the details at suit level also 
right? So suit ID, I gave it as 31 over here, right? Under variables, you can see these are the values which are considered for the latest run, right? This is 31. Let me check for another one. This is 30. So let me change this value 30, right? Save it and go back to get test suit ID. So now it is 30 and let me run it once again, right? The test plan uh, name remains the same, right? But it will point me like if I open this link, right? It will redirect me to this API, to this place. Right, so it is giving all the details because in browser also the get API uh, gets called, right? So the main thing that you have to consider is like you have to generate a personal access token, place it here, right? And then run those APIs and you can even uh, do the creation also. For example, uh, suppose if I want to create a test run, uh, this is the API for it, right? And let me tell you that how we can read the documents also. So uh, for example, here generally they will give you a sample, right? So this is since get is a simple request, right? So uh, let me take another one. So for example, test run, right? Suppose we want to create a test run. So it's a post request, right? And what we have to pass pass in the request body are these all the things, right? Uh, but the, generally they give a example also right for example this example that i have taken right all the fields are not mandatory right so what is the name that you want to give to your test run let's say my demo run right what is the plan id it is for so my plan id is in this case 20 right so let it be 20 and point id is something which is at the test case level so these are the various results that are there. A test case can have multiple test points. Test points is like uh, like a single test case can be run for Chrome browser, Firefox browser. So in Azure DevOps, those configuration is considered as a different point, right? So here I see the point 11. So I'll try to create a test run for nine and 11. Sorry, yeah. So we have to pass a body. It's a post request. It requires a body in this case, right? So let me run it, right? So we have a test run and the good part is it gives me this link, which you can right when you are using rest assured and all you can use these links and email it to someone who can uh, take a decision for this that what, what they want to look at all, right? So the, I think this is the URL where I can see the charts and all. Right, so if I run it, I can see that that I added two test cases, right? Two point IDs I added, and there is a test run that got created, right? So this way, and there are various versions, so we have to be careful which version we are using, right? So uh, whatever I'm explaining today, some of the APIs are in seven versions, some are in five versions. So you will have to check those things. If you face any issue running these APIs, I can walk through various ones. For example, this one, it returns like you give a plan ID and it gives you the suit details. With this one, especially from the testing perspective, from the earlier one, you got the suit, right? A plan consists of a suit and suit will consist of test cases, right? So that's why I have these listed like that. And then you can get the point ID. Right. So a test case can have various point IDs, for example, 9, 11 and all these things. Right. And others, they keep on getting created. And he, here even you're, you are getting the name of the test case. Right. So if you want that details, you can get it at this level. And there is one I have created for updating it. Right. If, if I run this API, then it will update the this is a patch API. So here we are passing a body that what you want to update and then in that case you can update the status directly if you're doing automation you have so many cases so if you have run via selenium or via rest assured then you can directly update this by using this rest apis so on this documentation you will find rest apis for all of the things for example pipelines logs everything you can get it and this is the way to run it generate a personal access token and give it a limited time and access. Like if you just want to read the information, give the read information. From here, you can click on edit and define the 
roles for example if you want to create a bug right so you can give read and write access by which you can create bugs or manage things from here and there are 28 other things over here and for running it uh, you have to use the basic auth and pass only the password here uh, if you want to see it that how the request is going in postman it gives the option to see the code from here right if i want to run this and want to see the java code what is the equivalent uh, java code right for uh, rest assured it it gives it for example in python if you want to run this is the code right it is passing this authorization basic and the token so similarly you can get for java or whatever uh, language you want the code for you can get it from here that can help you also right so hope you find the video useful and you will be able to run the rest apis for azure devops with the help of Uh, these two variables are required in almost all the apis and you have you must have personal access token and rest documentation you will have to check based on what is given on the microsoft page so thank you for watching and keep supporting the content and i have i think completed eight videos thank you for watching